Hello, my viewers. Welcome back to my channel. This is uh, Yemi, your host. Um, and today is like today I was watching. I, to be honest, today I was just uh, watching this Baba Jesha. Baba Jesha's uh, case. I've been following the case since uh, when the matter actually started. I think I'm, uh, I was a fan of Baba Idisha. Yes, before he, all this allegation was put on him. I used to love his show. I thought it was funny because after Baba Sue, as you know, I mean, who, who, how many other comedians do we have? Baba Sue, uh, Baba Luwe, Papi Lolo, uh, I mean, there's all the, all the funny comedians we have now. They're already gone. I mean, now the, all the actors, we have and actresses are just the straight face actors and actresses. I mean, straight face and just try to copy Western world. But nevertheless, I was going through, I've been going through the case and today was sentenced. So I felt, in a way, kind of I would say, sweet bitter pill because I know the allegation. I don't want to talk, I'm not going to put mention. You already, you all know the allegation uh, that was uh, on the Bajisha. But um, he was sentenced to 16 years in prison. 16 years in prison. That's a lot. Um, I don't know what to say because, in a way, I genuinely, I, I genuinely felt for him. But at the same time, I know he needs sentencing because things like that shouldn't. Yes, you should. I mean, I didn't expect him to go unpunished. No, I, I didn't expect that. But I can also see his kind of his own naivety. I mean, even during the time of when the old matter case was still on, I expect this man, Baba Jesha, to lay low. At least try and lay low. Because the matter at hand is not even, it's a serious matter. It's not something like, it's not, it's, it wasn't, it was, it was an embarrassing case and a serious one. So, and on a minor. And I don't expect him to start going on TV or going on Facebook. And he was doing a lot on Facebook. I mean, a lot on Facebook. Every day, like laughing, uh, you know, making jokes, cracking, making some short, short comedy. When he still was asked to stay off social media, Facebook is part of social media. I don't, I don't know where he got that from. I don't know who liked him. But I thought he's supposed to have stay off there and obey and respect. Maybe things would have gone differently. But judge, you know, because. Mind you, judge, you, 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 when you put the matter before the judge, one thing, judge always, they are human. And they, they work things the way they feel at your behavior and also with your remorse. They want to know that you've really thought about what you've done, you've had a remorseful heart. When you have a remorseful heart, you won't be placing yourself all over the place. Oh, look at me, look at me. Who wants to see you? No, with that heavy situation, heavy uh, mark, I mean, heavy allegation on his head. No, that's not time to say, look at me, I'm acting, I'm doing this. Even if they don't say stay off social media, common sense needs to tell you, Baba Jisha, stay off social media, stay off parties, stay off where there's any gathering. It, it, look, sensible person will stay indoor. Stay indoor. Anywhere you're supposed to go, whether that be your mosque or your church or whatever religion you're worshipping, and call on your God for for help. That's the time you need to call God. This is not the time to start laughing around and start making. And because people will be looking at him and thinking, "Are you crazy? Have you forgot the matter at hand? As it is, all this a joke to you?" So, so I think sometimes judges, the judge will look into all that and see if you really had a remorseful heart, even if, even because you, even if you either had a remorseful heart. To me, I don't think he had a remorseful heart towards it. I'm not, I'm not saying, oh, I'm happy. Uh, there's no win or lose. In this situation, there's just no win or It's not somebody who we, oh, the, the, the person, the, the, uh, the, the persecutor, the, the person that persecuted him. It's not like, oh, they win. No, nobody, it's not a win. It's not a win-win situation here. Nobody win. It's everybody lost. Because she is, the person that made, made mention of the situation still is around, you know, which I don't want to mention. They're still going through stuff. And Baba Jisha too, yeah, I know his family, he's got families, he's got kids and all wife. So nobody's nobody's a winner. So nobody's rejoicing at the sentencing. But it's just that 
I think it's his, uh, it is his making. It's what he did to himself. It's what he brought upon himself. He brought this matter upon himself. So the judge got it right. I'm not going to say the judge got it wrong because he needs some sentencing. 16 years, I'm not sure whether it's, uh, that's a lot. I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm not going to say nothing because maybe when he's in jail, if he uh, get, maybe then get remorseful and uh, he behave himself, and uh, maybe maybe they might look into it. But for now, I say, Baba Jisha, you know, you lay your bed, you lay on it, you lie on it. So this is your what you brought upon yourself. Nobody brought it upon you. Um, and it will also this will teach other actors lesson. I'm not saying actors, I don't do the same. But we teach all these actors lesson. And there's so many actors out there that even this when they want to, yeah, these young teenagers come to your offices to, uh, to want to be an actress or they want to be an actor, you start laying with them. That you will teach all of you a lesson. You stop it. If you have the job, you give it to them. If you don't, then leave it. Don't turn on uh, Nollywood or Hollywood and Nollywood to become like a, 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 a like become this like a pawn or something or a way where you, you have to you have to be, take your clothes off before you can get a job. It shouldn't be like that. And, oh, no, it's not. It's just Baba Jisha song came uh, came to life, and it was because that's why. Because there's so many of you there in that Nollywood that are also big, they are also guilty. That supposed to be thrown in jail. So, but yes, Baba Jisha's case will teach the rest of you, Hollywood there, Nollywood there, a lesson. It will teach the rest of you a lesson. So, Baba Jisha, this is the beginning of your sentencing. Um, I'm not saying enjoy it because I, there's nothing to enjoy. But at the same time, I mean, this will give you time to is now to re, to sit and to think and to pray. Yes, because you weren't doing that when you were out there, so you went. So it's this time for you to pray and to call on your God and ask for repentance. Maybe that that's what you need now. So I don't know what to say. There's no win, there's no lose. I'm not happy. I'm not like rejoicing about it. I'm just saying, um, just you know, just a time for him to think. And then, so, and the rest of you out there, Nollywood stars, whatever, it's time for you to as well, actually, control your sexual health, control yourself. You all go wild. Stick to your marriage. Be grateful. I know you know, you especially actors, don't stay free. Try and be grateful to your wife. I don't even know why they put up with you people anyway. But anyway, thanks for watching my show, thanks for watching my video. Um, if you, leave, you know, subscribe and leave your comments. Because it's not really uh, something to rejoice about, but I'm just saying, you know, Baba Jija was sentenced today, 15 years in prison, for the allegation that was brought and uh, that he put on himself. And then um, we we'll see how it goes. And then uh, any information I get from that, I will still bring it down and let you know. Thanks for watching, and then see you in my next video. Thank you.